نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الكریم اما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم ادعو الى سبیل ربک بالحکمت والمعزت الحسن و جادلهم باللتی احسن ان ربک هو اعلم بما ضل عن سبیله و هو اعلم بالمختدین رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل الاقدتا من لسانی یفق القولی My respected brothers, dear Ulamaz, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Mashallah, Jazakum Allah, Mulana for inviting me. Okay, so I'm, uh, as of these days, I've said, I'm, my name is Sibhatullah and I'm from, this is one of my most favorite topic about Isa al-Islam and I can actually talk about for hours, but I will not. I will spare your time, inshallah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm from X. Special forces, so if I come across a bit harsh, that is natural. They all we always say we have got like I've got too many negatives. So I said first like iPad here. Don't keep it on the side, it's fine. Don't worry, it's fine. Is it okay? This technology has got it too much advanced now, is it mashallah? Okay. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So I just recited the ayat of Quran. Okay, so I'm from ex special forces. So if I come across harsh, it doesn't mean that I'm harsh. I'm a very calm person, but I'm more passionate about this topic. Just like if you have seen, uh, I used to be normally have a discussion with uh, brothers who do Khatmin Abuat. I used to say, are both pagal, crazy people, but they're too extreme. But when I started, I had a manazra with the uh, Kadianis, then I realize and actually they are harsh for a reason. When you talk to them, I just recited the ayat of Quran which says, Udu'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah. Okay. We are very blessed as Mawana said, we are very blessed. And I, Subhanallah, I, when I came to when I came to this country, I was not very practicing. I was one of most of the brothers who were preaching. And I imagine I'm from the special forces. So we are very proud people. We don't think like normal people. We are not like normal people. Because uh, we are selected from the best of the best of the best. So you think that you are the best. That makes you very arrogant and proud. So uh, to be a mole, we will be the last one who will ever think. Us. Yeah, Dari, okay, very neat. The first time we come, we want to slap him, but he has to be nice to him. It's pretty hard as well. But Alhamdulillah, but uh, Subhanallah, you know, the Bible says a very beautiful poetry. He said, I became Muslim in this country. So. The reason is because they are so passionate about it. Yeah, come to salvation, come to Jesus. And all this, and I was like, every time we sit, the next, the left, right, and center. And I realized that Imam Ridat Rahimullah, bless him, no wonder he was saying it that I, every book is dedicated to the Christian. He said, if it was not their question, I would never write the book. So, subhanAllah, with them, probably the negativity brings me to positivity. When I said to them, I started learning the Quran, then Alhamdulillah, bless him, with amazing Musadullah, mashallah, and come to this then, Alhamdulillah. So we are very lucky and I will inshallah make it very simple for you because remember soldiers are very straight line. They don't get too much complicated in that. We just make it like black and white. We don't believe in grey. So either it is right or wrong. So I make this topic very simple for you to make you see that actually how amazing Islam is. And it is not because I'm so much, I make it simple. The ulama make it so much work for you. For me, I have 10 years of dawah in we do it in commentary, alhamdulillah. And their questions make me bring the topic into four points, inshallah, which I'll explain later. But first I want to say that please remember one thing. Every dawah you give, the best dawah is the Quran. There is no, you can be more eloquent speech you can have. You can never give better dawah than the Quran. No, no matter how amazing speech you have. Quran is the best dawah. So Allah said in the Quran, which I started my 
speak to it. When I was on the plane, so I said, when I was on the plane, so I said, when I was on the plane, there was going to be a speech, but there was no much interest. But Bil Hikmah, you know, well, the Mahath best known as this ayah, even better, Bil Hikmah. There was even a food after that, well, Hikmah. They know, speech can be this day, I don't know, food can be no picture. For the food you will sit, for the speech, the speaker, we will know it, inshallah, when we get all the impressed around. So they know it. SubhanAllah, you know, amazing, amazing. Sahaba, I always say it when we do it, because you know, we love our food. Especially, mashallah. Of course, we are young, as well, so we love the food more. When Sahaba, they would finish food quickly so they can pay salah. And what we do, we finish prayer quickly so we can have food. <laughs> so now everyone will be saying, here, even though the blessing of Allah is coming and the angels are sitting among us, but I'm going to hear this. Monanas have finished up with their four points so we can have like some lunch and then go. So, Allah, amazing things. So, Allah says in the Quran, Udur ila sabil ra'ada, Udur. Da'a means to call one. And da'a says, da'a must be with me here. And you know, du'a, when we call Allah, Udur ila sabil ra'ada, call people to the path of Allah, with hikmah, with wisdom. Wal mu'azat al hasana. And the beautiful instruction or the beautiful advice. Just like you see the Sunnah of Rasulullah when he invited people to the Islam, what did he do? Invite. Food is the best dawah. Any Christian will give dawah, any non practicing brother will give dawah. When you tell him, no one listens to Allah. They have a different frequency. As the Mufti Sahib says, you know, to know the lingo. Like for example, people ask me, so I have to make them talk about me more because they are interested in special forces and guns and pistols and oh my god, how you be very cool and you must have shot a lot and how many people and this. So when you talk to them about they listen to that more than if I tell to them that yeah, Allah says in the Quran, even though that is more, but their frequency is too down. They need to know the frequency of Allah and they're talking about Quran. So you know to know the lingo to bring them here. So Allah says, to bring them with wisdom means that you should know what lingo you need to speak. Well, more that al hasana and the beautiful advice. Don't be extreme in what you are saying. Be very common, talk in a common sense. And when you argue with them, when you have jadal, normally fight with them. Means when you are arguing with them, that which is beautiful, that will be the best. Means use the beautiful analogies, beautiful uh, examples that the Rasulullah how he would say. Mm -hmm. Rasulullah never said to the people, Oh, Gospel of Mark said chapter 16 verse 3, for God so loved the world. No. Rasulullah didn't say, Oh, let me tell you about what the Bible says about me. My mention, my name is mentioned in the Song of Solomon, Muhammad is mentioned. No. That's why some listen to them. And if he would invite them to the masjid, he will listen to them. Then he will say, so look at the, I was teaching Quran, and subhanAllah, when we teach, when the master is right, my teacher will say, you learn more. There's one ayah in which is uh, the surah, uh, the seventh sifah, started with that son of What uh, the, uh, uh, the ulama says, the deep things about it. They say that when they were reciting the Quran, the same ayah <coughs> to the Christian, Abu Bakr was saying, so the Christians were crying. Look at what Abu Bakr said. Abu Bakr said, we were like you. We had a soft heart. Now our hearts have become hardened. We don't cry on this ayah. The Christians of that time were crying when they were listening to the Quran. The Christians be different, the Muslims be different. The Christians were also different, the Muslims were different. Now is a different problem. So imagine how they will invite by making themselves down the other person up. When you invite someone like that, they will come to the Rasulullah when he was in Makkah. You know, I'm, we are from the army, so I can understand it much better than I should not be saying I'm the dust of the ulamas, but I understand this more because I've been in peace. When he was in Makkah, and when the Sulaiman, you know, when he went to this marriage to Medina and he had a fight like with them, how many people accepted Islam? And when he forgave the people in Makkah, how many people accepted Islam? 
think about it. Like when they are empowered, how many people accept Islam? And when we forget everyone, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, just in 23 years, 23 years, people do nothing. 23 years is a very short time to transform the nation. So you can see how Rasulullah transformed the nation with the same mindset, with the same how he advises people as well. So say, Inna Rabbaka huwa a'lamu biman dola wa sabili huwa a'lamu bil muhtadeen. When you give dawah to the people, you should know this ayah better. Your Rabb knows more that who is more guided and who is more misguided. Don't look at someone talking to them. If I say someone in the preacher, because I have a long beard, so I'm actually very practicing, and other person who doesn't have a beard is less practicing. No, Allah knows who is guided. So this is the ayah. Uh, why did I explain this ayah? Because I don't want you to know these four points and started going to, uh, just as I was coming, I saw the JW for you. I don't know if you know what JW is. JW is all right and fair. I'm sure you know because I'm in the state. Mr. Jehovah Witnesses, they are like Adyalis of Muslims. They are the Christians there. And don't start knocking at their door and say, come out, let me tell you these four points, explain these four points, and then you will just you will become Muslim and I don't want you to bash, use these tactics to look down upon even those people who are misguided. Just learn from it, but keep the light. Keep the light of the, this ayah on your head when you're explaining the, these four points. This what I'm giving the speech is slightly different because I want you to go with certain knowledge, not to listen to how amazing I, I cannot anyway deliver the speech like Mufti Mufti, Zahir Sabah, Murad, Mufti Tosir Sabah, Shaykh Al Mulak Sabah, none of them. I'm like just more a practical person, probably like right? you tell me to run like a marathon, okay, I can do that. It's not like, but you can raise charity or something, or kind of summer, or probably beat summer, but not more than that. I'm stuck with that. So there are four points you should know in the preaching. The first one is Allah, God. <coughs> what is God? The second point is what is human? Very simple thing. The third point is what is sacrifice? And the fourth and final point is what is salvation? Because when you go into this Christian country anywhere, you will say one thing, you will see one thing. Well, you know, we, we know that Islam is the truth, Islam is the haq. But how we present it, we don't reach even to the feet of the Christians. How they preach is, sometimes I listen to them and I'm like, man, I've read the whole Bible. And I think I, I went and argued with them and I have a miraza like, debates with them and stuff. I said, how amazing they do the speech and how they transform the people even just like to get the knowledge. When we see us, our Muslims, how they present it, we don't reach them. Presentation is at high level there. How they connect with the people, how they connect with the youngsters, how they connect with the old people. But they will never let you open the book. And they will never let you discuss this fourth part because the ulama didn't want them to get into this part. Otherwise, their pocket is get, going to be empty. So the first part is Allah. Very simple. Even a child can explain this very better. First one is Allah, God, anyone. And then I'm saying these four points because this is old Christian. Because Christians have got a lot of, they have got different types. Yesterday I found another type. There is another type of Christian as well in the Philippines, which is 20% of them in the world. Every time you will find the new types of uh, Christians. But they will always believe in these four points. And if you know these four points, you always answer the question. The first one is God. Quran, very beautiful. It's simply, Quran with one surah finished everything for us. He said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul huwa Allah wa had. Allah wa sumad. Lam yali. Walam yulam. Walam yukulam kufu wa had. Every ayah, every word in that Quran, this surah is why Allah says certain things is only when you see the Ahl Kitab, when you see the Christian religion. Say He's God, one and only one. Just like in Bible says, the first commandment is, Oh, hero Israel, your Lord is one God. So one God, they believe in one God. Allah, who someone is absolute and eternal, <coughs> they believe in as well, He's absolute and eternal. Lam yalik, wa lam yula. Everyone knows. Lam yalik, he does not begets, 
ولم ولم يلاقي نيدر هيز بتواتر نيدر هي هذا السن نور هيز ذا سن اوف سن ولم يكن له كفوا نحات اند ذير از ناثينج لايك ات تو هيم ذي ويل سي ذير از ناثينج لايك ات تو هيم اتس فاين لم يلد ولم يلد ذا ايا ثم جست ليف ات هير ويل سي اوكي فاين ات اتس فاين بيتر With what they say, but I don't like the word God, but I will say the word God anyway to reflect. Okay. We say the God is uncreated. He is the creator. Means he created the world. He created the time. So if I listen to my words, this was careful, especially for the youngsters, because you'll be giving more of this. You'll be listening to a lot of this. He is the creator of the time. He is the creator of the world. So when someone is creating the time, he can't be bounded by the time. How? What does it mean? If I make this iPad or this iPad or this phone, I'm not in the phone. I'm outside the phone. The laws doesn't apply to me of the phone and me. Exactly just like Allah said, He is the Creator. He's not bounded by time. Who is after billion years ago? Who was Allah was there? Al awwal wal akhir. They say at al final mega. Christians say that. So he's the first and he's the last. We all believe in that. Christians believe in it as well. He is the first and he's the last. He's al final. He's mega. And he's what? We believe in that. He is the creator. He is not created. He does not. He does what he wishes. He doesn't ask of anyone permission what he needs or he doesn't need. He wants to forgive billion sins. But he wants to put all the work in the hellfire. No one can stop him. Christians believe in that as well. Whatever he wants to take everyone to heaven, he just doesn't matter. No one can come in the fire. We are just his word. Allah says be and we become. Allah says it happens. It, nothing happens against the will of Allah. That is the first point done. Easy. The second point is human. If God is creator, what is human? Creation, beautiful. He is created. So can he be alpha? So he is not the first. And will he be omega? Will he be the last? So human has got the beginning, they've got the end, he has got the creation. The laws of the world apply to him. He is born certain time. That before that time, Sabatullah was not before 1978. And when I die, there will be no after me. I'm dead, finished. That, that is the human. The next one is a sacrifice. I will explain the four parts and I'll mix it up and I'll just finish it up so we can eat our food quickly. Sacrifice. What is sacrifice? <clears throat> if I say I sacrificed my time, come to come and pick me, I lost my time. If I say I lost my which I don't want to use the iPad anyway. <laughs> but it was close to my wife. So if I say I sacrifice my iPad, so what it means? I need to give it to someone. If it is with me, will it, will, did I sacrifice it? No. Never. So when I give it to someone, then, then it means I sacrifice. When we do sacrifice the cows, what happened to the cow? The life of the cow is born, the food is distributed. When we give charity, even though it is Allah has it, but the money is gone, we sacrifice. There is full sacrifice, my friend is sacrificed, but we say, I sacrifice my life on you. It doesn't mean that I still am living and I'm sacrificed on you. You know, I sacrifice the thing, the thing is lost for me. And the last one is salvation. Salvation means like when you are being forgiven for whatever it is. Like whatever sin you commit, Allah will serve. Allah said, whatever sin you do, Allah will do from here all the way to the sky. If you say, Allah forgive me, Allah will forgive you. Same with the Christianity. No matter how many things you do, if God wants, He can forgive you salvation. Now let's, as you know these four points, now let's discuss the <coughs> Isa al-Islam in it. According to Quran and Bible. For Quran, very easy. Allah says the life of Isa is like of Adam. Isa al-Islam is like Adam. We just created. We just say be, and he become. Finish. For Allah to create one Isa or a million Isa. Like this. Second. For Allah to create one Adam or a million Adam. For Allah 
is outside the space of limitation. When I say Allah is outside the time of limitation, please remember this one point we're discussing. It doesn't mean that Allah is outside the things. So, for example, if I say Allah is so powerful that He cannot be even beaten, it cannot be beaten. It's not a bad, like it is not something like an act to be proud of or can Allah can have. But Allah so Allah is so truthful that He is not even a liar. Oh Allah cannot lie. Can you see? So these points doesn't exist with Allah. So you cannot say something that oh my God, like oh Allah cannot even lie and I can lie. No, because we are human. Of course, because Allah is so superior. That's why it shows that oh someone is like a billionaire and you tell him oh you are such a billionaire, you are not even poor. Of course, he's not a poor. He doesn't want to be poor because that is something which is amazing act of being rich. So when let's when we discuss Isa and Islam in it. So when we say Allah says Isa and Islam is, we say Isa and Islam is one of the mightiest prophets. Like Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is one of the mightiest prophets. Like Musa and Islam is one of the mightiest prophets. We say Adam and Islam is one of the prophets. All the prophets are mentioned in the Quran chapter 25, and even all the prophets in the Hadith from Adam and Islam all the way to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was Hatim and seal of the prophet. I'm saying it this for the reason. Uh, from Adam and Islam all the way to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Khatim and Nabi. All prophets are the prophets of Allah. But Allah is Allah. These prophets, all alayhi wa salam, are the creation of Allah. They are the best after the after Allah. So say, if now let's see to know that Christianity of Allah. They will say Trinity. Have you heard the word Trinity kids? Have they even heard the Trinity? What is Trinity? Who is the one? Yes? God is one being in three persons. Yes, mashallah. One God in three persons. Normal they will say. Trinity. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. For there should be three who shall bear a part in heaven. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and these three are one, they say. That we say Prophet, we say uh, 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 the Father, we call it the Muslim is Allah, the Son, we call it Isa and Islam, and the Holy Spirit is Jibrail and Islam. They say these three are one, one God. But now if we apply one God, Isa and Islam, we all, let's say, if you apply the rules of the same, the four points, Allah. So what, what was Isa and Islam? If you Isa and Islam was before the beginning, when was he born? What was his mother's name? Mary. So he was born at certain time. So was he Alpha? If someone say, they say that he is, uh, the Christians say, that he is the father and he has a son, Isa al Islam. But Isa al Islam is also God. So the father is also God, but the father is a son and the son is a father as well. Make sense? It will never make sense. So he said that if God has begotten a son. Now look at this word. That's why I always say when you talk to them, think it out. Begets. What does begets mean? Why Allah says, Lam yalid wa lam yalid? When he begets, what does begets mean? If someone says, I've got three daughters, that's it. They are my begotten daughters. Means they are from me and my wife, I beget children. When we say Allah Nauzubillah begets, what does it mean? Or God begets, what does it mean? That God begets a son. So it means you are using the rules of humanity on God. If you say everyone, all the children of God are the, uh, are the all are the children of God, we don't like this one. That's why Allah subhanAllah, look at this beautiful. Allah in the same, Alhamdulillah. What is this? Alhamdulillah, Surah Fatiha, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Allah didn't say Abbil Alameen. Because they know that the Christians are there, they already destroyed this world. Abbil and Rabbil is less, less different. But Allah made the superior word, Rabbil Alameen. Never choose the word Abbil. Why? Because they change. If only one of the children of God is fine. But if you say the word begets, you use the animal act to Allah, which is again blasphemy. So you can't say God begets. 
So if he begets a son, and he's serving the Trinity, but okay, if he begets a son, so the, like for example, the like Jehovah Witnesses, they say they don't believe in Trinity. They don't believe in Trinity, but they believe that God has got a son. I said, explain to me, like I'm maybe a soldier, but explain to me, it's simple. A uh, lion, when a baby is born, it is a lion or is it a donkey? It is a lion. When a cow gives birth, it is a baby cow, whatever it is, for a cow. So the God begets what? It's a human. <laughs> I, wallahi, I'm not joking. I was talking to one of the uh, brothers and I was telling him that, okay, let's discuss this uh, Bible. And you know, I'm telling you, Allah, inshallah, I said, I really all the, Ya Allah, please make me calm, make me calm, make me calm, and I will be like, really say nothing, really say nothing. There's a verse in the Bible that it is saying uh, about uh, divorce, and it says, that Paul is saying it. It's Paul says, I say unto you, not the God that whosoever divorces his wife and the things go on, whatever it is. I said, who is it saying? I said, what is this one? Is it, is it God saying it or Paul saying it? Because he said, I am saying it to you, not the God. And the verse before it said, God is saying it to you and not me. So I said, that is from God, that is fine. What is this ayah from? I am saying it to you, not the God. I said, is this ayah the ayah of Allah? But is this the verse? You should know about Ayah. You know, the verse of they say he says uh, I lost it. He said, no, no, Bible is a truth. Looked at him. I said, well, why you should be slapped. <laughs> I said to God, he said, I am speaking gibberish or you are speaking. I said, what I said, is this the word that is God saying it or Paul saying it? They said the Bible is from God. Wallah, you know you say, you will love people, you know, that, that's why we should be always say, Allah said, Allah knows who is guiding, and Allah knows who is misguided. Because you will love someone to accept Islam, Allah doesn't like it. If Allah doesn't like it, you cannot make Islam. Just like Rasulullah look at the greatest man ever lived, Abu Talib. Help everything Rasulullah wanted, Fazakir inna ma'anta muzakir. It is only you can give the, spread the message, guidance in Allah, never in our heads. Coming back to the point, so Trinity, so then they say, why I'm saying this to you, the next thing is human. So we say, is he human, Isa al-Islam, or is human the God? Then they say, no, God become human. Remember the example, remember the definition that I told you. I said, how can the unlimited being be limited? How can the greatest billionaire will be the most poor person in the world? Make me sense, like make sense to me. Probably I understand some new language, probably my maths is very weak. How can the unlimited, how can the uncreated be the creation? How can the khalik be a makhluk? What are you saying? Like, which language you are using? Allah says very beautiful. You know when they say, uh, the Mushrikeen used to say that Allah has got, uh, Allah says that they've got a, that Allah has got son and daughter. And they come, Sahiba. Bibi ka to toto usikar ni ka te challa ki bibi nahi kar rahe, bache de rahe ho. Betiya bhi de rahe ho, bete bhi de rahe ho. Bibi nahi de rahe ho. Like no one said that Allah has got Everyone is saying like, that the Muslim, the Christian, the Muslim would say, well, this is the daughter of the uh, Muslim God, and this is the son of God, and this is the daughter of God. Be we lady, and everyone give a wife. How can you make sense? At least with Catholics, they say that Jesus is the mother of God. Jesus. Creation, co creator, co creation, kese kar sakte. And the next thing, one is sacrifice. Why did I say sacrifice? When they say to us, remember, it doesn't make sense again. So these two points I don't infer. So for example, a creation can never be created. So Isa Islam is either Allah, Nauzubillah, or either he is a human. You can't be both. Just like you can't be. SubhanAllah, you know when they say human, I say okay, human can be man, he can be female. But SubhanAllah, we are living in the world that it is not both now. 
Yeah, something else. It can be LGBT tomorrow. A person will come. He is a pro. You have to accept it that he is a pro. You have to call him the pronoun pro or whatever it is, it or is or whatever. I don't know what is it. A person will be tomorrow. Someone will say, "Fun, call me lion," and they will, be, they will make a law. Even if he is a donkey, you have to call him a lion. <laughs> but we are living in the world, so now human beings have got much of that development. IT is developing, so there are different different forms of humans creating now. So now male, female, trans, as of X, Y, Z, B, C, D, E, and you to call them whatever they are. But look, these laws still, they are in limitation. It cannot be God. The sacrifice one. As I said, if someone, if God has sacrificed a son, when Christian said, Allah says very beautiful in the Quran. Every, they said the Quran is so beautiful. If you go to just love, just to the, the Imran and to the Maryam, everything is very easy. Allah says in the Quran, very beautifully, Allah did not, they did not kill him, they did not sacrifice him. Well, like it should be Allah. They make him look like, it make him shubha, unko shubha. They put doubt about it. وَمَا قَتَلُهُ yaqina And did not kill him for sure. But we, they say, they killed Jesus. They killed Jesus. They said, okay, fine. Okay, chala, supposedly, we don't believe, but chala, for argument said he killed. He was, no, al-Islam was killed. So, what was he? Human or God? They will say he was God, but he was a human. <laughs> okay, no, 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 this, is, this is getting very drastic. So, if he is dead, and he is God, so then how he is sacrificed? Because the life is with God, and life goes to God. So what did he kill then? If Isa is God, and he is sacrificed for the sins of the humanity, okay? If he is sacrificed for the sins of the humanity, so when he was killed, how can you call it sacrifice? Because he gets a life back. Unless you tell me, Na'udhu that once he was sacrificed, the life went to shaitan. Then it's fine. At least he got the life. Uh, he lost the life. But the life went back to him, so how can you call it sacrifice? You just don't use this word sacrifice. But I've asked this question every time it comes to one of the Christian person said he was a very big preacher. So he came to me, he said, listen, Yes, it is not from the God. Bible does not book of complete all of God. But still Jesus died from the sins. Can't go with that. Okay, no, you cannot do this. So there's not a sacrifice. Salvation. We say, how can you say Isa al Islam? Either you call him that he knows the law was very not he was not the prophet of Allah. Because we Christians believe as well, we're the prophet of Allah. If you're the prophet of Allah, we're the best man ever lived. Now God wants to forgive all these people. You must have heard this many times. If God wants to forgive, what he will say? We Muslims say it very beautifully. We said, Illa Muntaba wa Amin wa Amin Aswalikhan. Illa Muntaba. You know the ayat of Surah Maryam. Except those who repent, wa Amin Aswalikhan, they will be entering Jannah. The Quran Jannah. How like it? You will enter in Jannah. Easy. You repent, you ask Allah, please forgive me. That's it, God. They will say no. That you cannot ask forgiveness. Jesus has to be killed for your sin. So if, what did Jesus do? Like for example, if you hold and for example, there are ten people like these two kids, and they are very naughty there, and I hold this brother and I slap him and I said there, you can go there. It's fine. You are forgiven because that's not sin. <laughs> that's exactly what he said. Some people did sins, like for example, not Rafael Gil, but some people committed sin and you hold Isa al Islam, you said, you know what? Those people are very naughty, those people are very sinful, let me kill you. <laughs> so they can be forgiven. But let me not, so I, I asked them, I said, why this person has to be killed when God can forgive anyway? <laughs> but no, so, this is how they, you know how they, they die. They say, but for the, uh, that's such a beautiful thing they say. For the thing of wages, the wages of sin is death. 
with the emphasis they say the way I said it. Make it more dramatic and make like some music to it. Very toxic is death. So it means like if someone commits sin, someone has to die. So I said, you know, Urko Mardo, kill them. <laughs> but no, you have to kill Isa al Islam to make this thing. That's why Allah says it, how beautiful it is, that it is so easy. But remember if you these four points, that how simple it is to explain to make it how blessed we are. But imagine, still, you know, Mulana Sab said, a lot of people are Christian because most of the Muslims don't know how to answer to the Christians as well. And they know the simple points. They just listen, God, remember, they will never discuss these four points. They will discuss to you, oh, I remember Aisha, you know, very young when she was married. Come back to Allah, always, whenever you go back, come back always to Allah. I said, this time I will answer this question. There's a brother who asked me this thing and why I'm saying this note in a deep, deep, uh, speech form, in a more discussion form, because that's what they say. They said, listen, how is Aisha uh, Ritalana uh, was uh, married young? First of all, ask the question. I said, okay, fine. If I answer the question, would you accept Islam? They said, no. I said, you don't want to accept Islam. Anyway, so what's the final? This is the law of life. How can you kill people? I said, if I answer this question, okay, how can a merciful God give, make a person with diabetes or children or dying or everything? I said, if I answer this question, we accept this law. I don't, don't waste time in answering the question. Don't have debates with them. Easy thing is, every refer back to Allah. Allah says in the last the beautiful ayah, which is said, Ta'ala bila kalimah. Sawa hai bin Tell them, because it's kulya ahl al-kitab, ahl al-kitab ke liye, the people of the book, then invite them, what is the first thing? In again invite them. So Allah says, this is the ayah, which is, you know this ayah, I think Mala, because of the Raiz of Prophet, he becomes half of the blood, he's in competition with me. He's very ahead of me, Allah, mashallah. But uh, there's an ayah, and it says, uh, I was teaching it last time, and I said, and I said, Allah, Allah, how Allah knows it. The ayah is saying, kulu wa shrabu wa la, they just write Kulu Washrabu, Kulu Washrabu, Kulu Washrabu. Especially Amari Jamati brothers, when I go with them, they love Kulu Washrabu, eating, eating, and drinking. But Allah said, you know, the eyes before that, the same eyes are saying about Masjid. That whenever you go to the Masjid, beautify yourself in the place and the time of worship, and then eat and drink. <laughs> because actually this is how it is, isn't it? So Kulu Washrabu Wala to Same in the same as well. So when you invite them, invite them beautifully the people. Because food is the best way to invite Muslims, youngsters, Christians, Hindu. The best now what they say, what my teacher said that subhanallah. I didn't know that as well. Abu Bakr is the he invited Islam, uh, Usman as to the Islam. How do you do it? Food. They were talking. And because his khulq was so good, imagine if I'm not a good role model for Islam, if I'm not a righteous person, if I'm not a right person, if I'm not a good person, how can I tell someone, invite someone to Islam? You need to be yourself with a good manner. Rasulullah, why would they just come to him and they would say that, okay, they will melt? It's not because, they said, I'm saying, you know, I know so much Bible doesn't have an effect at all on Christians. Why? Because they will see what Sabbatullah is. If Sabbatullah is after the world, there will be no asr in my talk, there will be no asr in my speech, there will be no, even the it will not be coming from the heart. So the, when we invite people, remember one thing, you should be the role model, you should act on the Islam, and you should invite them like lovingly. Like if imagine if I tell this kid to come to things, uh, to come to listen to the Quran and I give him a one hour something just like I'm doing it, of course they will go. But if I talk in their language, <coughs> they will start saying. So invite them and the first thing we should be always in, Illa Allah. Pele, when you start with something, always come to one Allah. And when you know these four points and you discuss Allah, that He is one and He is a creator, He is not the creation, all the problems. Rest, all the problems can be discussed easily. And that's how you should use these four points, inshallah, to help uh, yourselves to understand it, teach others as well. Without Allah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa